Um, let me just point to you some of the things that I think we should we should be coming as we as we progress. We brought proposals on many of the aspects that would go to implementing our plan. And I want to appreciate that Parliament has been instrumental in making sure that the proposals that have come from the executive, from the ministers and principal secretaries, as they tailor the programs that are necessary for us to implement the plan and proposing budgets for it, Parliament have done their bit, making sure that there are resources that are allocated for us to be able to implement uh, the plan. One of the big successes that we have had is on uh, matters food security. I think it is a, is, a, is a big issue. We had a situation where we had a crisis and the crisis was not limited to Kenya. The, climate, the crisis was global because of what happened with conflicts around the globe because of matters of climate change, because of the drought. We had a very, uh, uh, we, we had a crisis in our hands. <clears throat> By God's grace, we, we got rain. We had a good plan. You people allocated money for fertilizer. The ministry of agriculture and all the other agencies helped in making sure that that fertilizer got where we want, where we wanted. And I can report to you that today we have a better harvest than we have ever had in the last five years. <clears throat> and we have today also upped our plan for next year to increase fertilizer that is available. I want to ask all of us here as leaders to look out, you know, you as members of parliament, look out, make sure that you work with the ministry to uh, make sure that uh, your constituents, your regions, your areas have access to subsidized fertilizer. We have standardized the cost of fertilizer as 2,500 for all fertilizers. Speak to Mithika Linturi, speak to his peers, speak to the serious people, speak to all those, and make sure that they do what they must, coordinate with them so that you can get um, uh, the right farm inputs in your areas. We are proposing to expand the coffee uh, cherry fund. Again, in the supplementary estimates, we will be coming to Parliament to ask for some allocations. We are working on with Treasury on how that can be facilitated because um, coffee has had a very difficult time with the cartels and all the other characters in there. But I think it is taking a turn in the right direction. So we will be working with you to make sure that uh, we, we settle that. Same thing to do with the tea and uh, all the legislations that are uh, on the pipeline and also in the sugar sector. We have uh, uh, just disbursed the first uh, 1.7 billion in the sugar sector. We are working on the reforms in that, uh, in, that, in that sector and hopefully in a couple of months we will be able to have a new space for our sugar industry to flourish again. Also, as you have heard me commit, we are working with uh, uh, KCC. We will be coming to Parliament for another allocation of maybe about a billion shillings just to make sure that our milk producers 
are paid on time. Uh, we have uh, made a decision together with the stakeholders. I had a long meeting with them in Nakuru, the milk processors. We have agreed that from 1st of March, we are going to pay milk farmers 50 shillings per liter. And we have also said that it will be paid on time. We are also working so that from the 1st of July, like happens elsewhere in the world, that farmers are paid every 15 days. Because those farmers who are doing commercial dairy deploy a lot of uh, capital so they need money regularly so we are we are working with the industry so that we we can we can we can deal with that we are also working with uh, development partners to enhance the capacity of our processors so that we can restructure our milk delivery so that we concentrate on two areas. We concentrate on supplying the, uh, uh, the, the lower market and we have a big opportunity for export. It is, it, it is a very positive thing that actually our milk products, the premium milk products, have markets globally, including in the U.S. So we, we have an opportunity to reconfigure uh, that space, and we are working with the milk processors in that, in that corner. We also will be coming to Parliament to ask you to, um, because we are working with some uh, development partners, to see how we can resource the Agricultural Finance Corporation to give it more leverage to be able to support our farmers with affordable credit. Um, I want to congratulate uh, all of us that we have now the four pieces of legislation to underpin uh, our universal health coverage. Congratulations to everybody. I know the ministry and the, the committee in parliament and parliament itself, you have done a phenomenal job and uh, I very sincerely appreciate. We are now working on the regulations and uh, we want to see whether we can conclude this. I don't know, Susan, um, I don't know if Susan is here. Okay. Uh, when do you think the regulations will be done, Van Pierce? When, when do you intend to table them in Parliament? So within 15 days or 10 days? 10 days. So um, the committee, the chair of the committee, health committee in Parliament, I don't know, Mr. B Dr. Bukose and uh, my good brother there, uh, Pato. So please coordinate because uh, those are very important instruments for us to be able to roll out uh, the universal health coverage. <coughs> delegated, uh, oh, it is delegated uh, legislation. Okay. Mashimiwa, uh, more fire there, and uh, Chep Konga, and uh, my good friend. Uh, so please, uh, let's see how we can accelerate that because we made a commitment that uh, the people indigents, we were, we're going to pay for indigents, the people who cannot afford, and then we are going to uh, adjust the contribution framework so that uh, everybody pays a commensurate or uh, a proportional
of, uh, of, 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 their, of their incomes. <clears throat> Let me also tell you uh, that um, 